friends and welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back if you're back. Either way, thank you very, very much for tuning in. Um, if you are new, my name is Rabbit and my pronouns are they, them. Sorry, my hair looks stupid. I washed it yesterday. Um, okay, so, <laughs> disclaimer. This video, I, um, I'm like very bad at uh, editing anything in a timely manner, um, in a reasonable way. Um, so I filmed this like back in February. Sorry, um, it's very, like, old by now, and the weather is, like, very gloomy in this vlog, and it's very outdated, but, you know, I figured I'd put energy into filming it, and it's just been sitting in my hard drive for so long, so if you don't want to watch it, no pressure, but, um, yes, that is why it's super outdated. <laughs> yes, I am very bad at this thing, but, um, regardless, hope you like it, maybe? I don't know. Um, it's, it's, it, I had fun with it, so maybe you will too. Um, Thank you for watching and your patience, and I will have more recent videos coming soon. And yeah, that's why my hair is like fully a different color in it, because it was from literally months ago. Okay, bye. Hello friends! It's, what is it, like February 8th? So it's a couple days after my birthday, before Valentine's Day. Kind of wanted to do like a little celebration, go out, do whatever. I figured I'd bring my camera along with me. So really quick. The outfit, outfit check. We've got usual hairdo, really big snake earrings. I put these little makeup stamps on my eyes, so I have like a star and a moon. Necklace I made, really pretty velvet top, fluffy bottom dress, and my big old boots. We're gonna go get some vegan sweets and then hang out and maybe even vlog a little and otherwise take some pictures, but I can't wait and um, off we go. This cookie survived really well. It's like vanilla raspberry. <gasps> no! Your cupcake! <laughs> no! How sad. My cupcake was so cute, but it just face planted on my jacket. So it's safe, except probably covered in cat hair. That's fine. Delicious chocolate cupcake. Beautiful view. Croissant. Croissant. My baby. Off to enjoy some snacks. Oh, it's so sad. We found a really cute little park. There's these adorable little chair looking things. I'm excited to sit in one. Also, I spun in a spinny thing. I haven't spun in since I was a child and it was a lot of fun. I forgot about these kind of things. I miss being in the spider webs and the and the playgrounds. Spider webs are pretty spooky too, so like it just feels like a spider web. Sorry if you can hear the wind. In other news, this is a better shot of my eye makeup today. Like I said, I really like it. Can you see it? Is it already smudged? Who knows? I don't know what Cage and I are doing very much after this. Um, we're just kind of wandering aimlessly. I don't really know if we know where we are, um, but it's been a good time just kind of wandering in the neighborhoods and the parks. <laughs> it's fun seeing like other adults play on the park. Too scary. scary. I'll climb. <laughs> no, I won't climb, but I will go down. No, this yeah, slide. okay. Don't climb in those boots. Ah, Wee! Would have been better if I slid on the slippy part of my skirt. Looks like a torture rack. It does kind of look like <laughs> torture. Yeah, I can't do it. Especially what? In this dress. Yeah, it's hard. What are these things, though? They're this? Grippies. Just hold on to you? Well, they're kind of similar to the ones in there. I feel like it'll pinch your hand on this. Yeah. So easily. I'm gonna sit on the spinning again. Okay. Okay. You go like this, and then you get on. No, you don't! <laughs> no, because it stops when you get on it. I don't know, you did it so good before. I did. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> That's really fun. Oh, I'm getting butterflies, holy sh**. <laughs> oh. Right, Dizzy? Yeah. yeah, okay. That's crazy. That's fun. What's in the gazebo? I don't know. Oh, they have a big swing thing here and a trampoline too? Or another spinny thing? There's so many spinny things. Like a spinny wheel and a spinny baby seat thing. Oh, it, it does spin. spin. Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> 
No. That probably fits too. Do you want to sit in it? No. I'll spin you. I'm dizzy now. Oh my god, that's too fucking much. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> stop. <laughs> Holy, you You're get so, so fast silly. on that. Okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's just like a hundred million birds. And they're super cute and super tiny and really loud. Can you wrap your feet with mine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little baby Venus fly traps. Whoa. Are there flies in their mouth? They're so tiny. <laughs> Oh, a string of pearls! I miss these! Quick. Is this them? No, this Did you find someone? This is a nice, nice color. again I feel like this is gonna be the most random vlog ever it's just like random sort of day in the life but whatever um, so I'm working on right now editing this very exciting content of the most beautiful girls in the world yeah a little bit behind the scenes have fun look how cute these girlies are precious Good morning! I am coming to you on February 14th, so it's Valentine's Day. Um, my boyfriend's still asleep, so I'm actually gonna go ahead- sorry, the light is crap in here. Okay, slightly better. I'm gonna go ahead and make some crepes in our kitchen for us for breakfast, and then we'll probably watch some TV. Then I'm gonna get ready and like get all cute to go on a little date. Sorry if my face looks wild. I did get my freckles tattoo redone. Don't know if the video will be out yet, but I will have a whole process on it. But that is why I look like this. Really excited for our date. Lemon's in the corner. I'm gonna show you guys really quickly something. So this is what I got cage. This is, I painted this little um, phone holder to look like lemon. So it's a little dorky looking, but I just did this last night. So it looks like our cat. Card. And then I found this at our local um, candy store. We both really like frogs, so I thought this was cute. Um, so yeah. We both kind of Valentine's snuck up on us, so we were like, let's not do anything crazy or huge. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make some crepes now. Sorry if I'm like kind of whispering, I don't wanna wake him up. Um, but yeah, off we go. Paige and I collect a lot of cat themed mugs from the thrift store, but I really love this one because it looks so much like tuna. When I found it, I was like losing my mind. The only way it could look more like tuna is if it didn't have the tail, but the tail on the handle is very cute. Pancakes, oh my god, crepes ready. Super excited. And I set up our couch. So it's like a little bit, I mean, these pillows have been like living here since we got them, but I put like this little fake rose out. Our coffees are ready. Cute little plates so we can watch some TV. All the stuff we can put on our pancakes are over there. <laughs> and uh, pancakes, oh my God, crepes. 
ridiculous. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go wake up Cage now. Okay, so I have showered and done my skincare, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and do my makeup. Um, I was thinking to, okay. So I haven't quite decided what I wanna wear yet. I'm like oscillating between three different outfits, but most of them are more red-based than pink-based. Um, so I'm probably gonna do more like red makeup look so it can be matchy, but it's always like, I never know, like should I do lipstick, should I do blush, because I'm gonna be wearing a mask, I don't wanna get a bunch of makeup on my mask. Maybe I won't do blush, but I'll do some lipstick and then try to like blot it off a lot. But either way, I'm kind of leaning towards this like red velvety outfit with it's like a slip dress. Feels very like romantic-y and appropriate for Valentine's Day and it's very comfy and that's like the main thing that I want to go for because Cage and I are going to be geocaching um, so it's going to be a lot of like walking around and standing and squatting and looking and <laughs> poking and prodding and stuff so um, going to be looking around outside so I do want to be comfy because Last time we went on a date, I wanted to wear a really cute outfit and I did. And I felt so cute, but it was also like kind of uncomfortable. It's not super fun. So yeah, I'm hoping to be mostly comfy on this date. And then the other thing is that since it's pretty cold, I'm gonna be wearing a big jacket so you won't see the outfit that much anyway. So that's the other things I'm just kind of like, whatever, I'll just wear the comfiest one. But the other two options, I have like a very comfy outfit that's like technically a dance costume, I think, but I got it at this thrift store that I used to volunteer at when I was in university. Um, and it was like 10 bucks and it's like the prettiest thing ever. It's like velvet on top with like the most pretty like kind of white and red layer of like set of um tool kind of at the bottom but it's like the softest tool ever it's not like crunchy at all and it just like makes me feel like a freaking ballerina like it's so pretty and i kind of want to wear that but the problem with it is that since it's kind of like that ballerina thing it like it just kind of has like underwear like bodysuit looking thing and then the skirt's kind of clear and i always feel like people are gonna be looking at me like is that person just like out in their underwear um yeah, Lem, I know. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that, but that was Lemon meowing. And yeah, so I've worn it to school a couple times and I would always wear it with just like thigh highs and like whatever. So like I always felt like comfortable, but I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, what if, what if someone gets mad? And it's like, whatever, <laughs> like, that's their business. But regardless, since it would be mostly covered my, by my coat, that's the main reason that I'm not um, leaning towards it. And then I kind of wanted to try wearing like a vintage, you know, gown thing, but I just, oh. I do not feel confident enough in them to wear them out yet. I hope that changes soon, but I like literally just feel like um, Scrooge from the Christmas Carol when I wear vintagey looking nightgowns. So um, that's not super fun. Also, this looks really crazy on camera, but it looks more normal in person and it'll look more normal later, I promise. Anyway, so yeah, I I got this really pretty vintage nightgown a while ago at the thrift store and it was like just a couple of bucks. I was like, whatever, like if I wear it, that's awesome. If I don't, like it's not like the craziest investment, you know, um, I want to wear it, but I, I don't know. I don't feel very like put together in it. Maybe I just need to like try, like just go with my stompy boots and like even ugh, my biggest problem is that I think I always think like, oh, a belt will fix this, but then a belt always makes it look like very weird and baggy. I don't know. And then the other outfit though that I was thinking of, because I was leaning away towards the nightgown, it was just kind of like a thought for a minute there, but I have this like kind of sheer dress that my friend Ren gave me, and it's so pretty. It's like a very like dusky pinky color, and I like it a lot, and I don't wear it very often, but I think it's just like too cold right now, um, so it'll be more of like a summer situation for me, but it's such a pretty dress, and I like to wear it with like a little pink like kind of velvety short dress underneath it that I got also at the thrift store. I don't know, the thrift store always has the best stuff. It's my favorite. It's the ones I go to. I, I always get so lucky. But yeah, I will show you guys the outfits that I'm oscillating around. And then I think I'm feeling like I want to wear these like candy heart earrings that I got at Spirit Halloween. They were labeled as clown earrings, but they just feel like adorable candy heart earrings to me with like pretty stripes. So. I like that. Uh, I tried to like put this back together because this shade keeps shattering. It's not super effective. Okay, so I want to do like a super dark red. Also, I always, this is how I like get my brushes clean to get like the old eyeshadow color off. But then I just look like I have like skin condition going on on my arm if I forget to clean it before I leave. So I'm going to not forget to clean it before I leave. Just going to catch up with you when I'm picking my outfit and just kind of like fast forward this part with like some music or something. So enjoy, I guess. I don't know.
Okay, I decided to do my hair like I normally do in the bathroom. Um, so, I'm gonna try to do pigtails today. Don't do pigtails very often, but I think they're such a cute look. So hopefully I don't change my mind right before I go out because I hate when that happens. And I'm using one like velvety scrunchie and one heart shaped scrunchie. I found the heart shaped one at the thrift store a couple of Valentines ago, or at the dollar store a couple of Valentines ago, and I think it's so stinking cute. So, looks kind of messy, but that's my hair. It's very messy. Hope it looks okay when I go out, but yeah, I don't know. I think it looks better in person than it does on camera. On camera, it looks fucking ridiculous. Do you see this? Oh my goodness, angel girl. Tuna is so cute. I'm gonna tune. All right, so for outfits, yeah, I'm leaning towards this one very pretty red short probably like pair it with like some fishnets or something alternatively this one it's a beautiful dance costume so so pretty and then oh lemon please uh this is the last option but it's like too sheer and too cold for this one and probably for that one too so it's gonna be this one and i'm just gonna be wearing some like warm leggings and stuff underneath it I think Lemon chose this one too. Hi, Lemon. Thank you, girl. Okay, this is what it's looking like so far. So, pigtails. These are the giant heart earrings I was talking about. Choker. Heart-shaped locket. Little Baphomet necklace. Skeleton hand. Um, this is the dress. Um, and then I have this like little kind of corsety thing on over top. It's very like stretchy and comfy. So yeah. Got this like little corsety thing. First time wearing it. This is the kind of velvety dress. Fishnetty fishnets over some like skin tone leggings so I can stay nice and warm. And then I'll probably be wearing some like big old stompy boots and some nice sweater and a cozy jacket. So, okay, so this is. This is the look that I would wear if I <laughs> was um, fully able to choose. I wanted to wear these boots, but like given that it's geocaching and we're walking around a lot, I probably can't. Sad, sad, sad. Maybe we'll go on a walk just around so I can like wear this super cute outfit because I feel so cute in this. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so yeah, that's this look. Excited to go out. Hopefully we find some cool caches and um, yeah, I can't wait to show you guys. So off we go. Bye. Look how beautiful I know that it looks all like kind of gloomy and it is a little bit cold, but I freaking love when the weather is like this. We made some hot apple cider before we left. I'm really excited. Look how pretty, like all the fallen trees and all the trees with no leaves. Oh my God, you can hear them sniffling. I'm really thankful I brought a freaking scarf. So we're going to the first geocache right now. I hope we find it. Also, I hope it warms up. It's so fucking cold. I was not expecting this. Cheese. Cheese. Okay. See you soon. Okay, we're at location one. To hopefully find the first cache. We're assuming it's in these trees. Oh no. Don't tell me it's just that. No, it's not. It can't be. I see it. Where are it? Oh, you're right. Hell yeah. Good eye. Come sit. You discovered the treasure? Yeah. Treasure. The note. The note. Oh, cute little spidey. Spider Man. I, in my bag, have brought some little bones. Oh, it's an eraser too, eh? Yeah, that's what I figured. Do you want the pony? Oh, the friendship bracelet's funny. And I also brought this like little purple bed. I have a couple of these from the dollar store. Um, I want the pony. The pony? The cool. pony like fell out because it wanted to come. Okay. Okay, pony coming with us. Bat. Goodbye, bat. He's so shiny compared to the rest. <laughs> Is that a littlest pet shop? Uh, yeah, it's a LPS. Yeah. Some people are really into LPS. Like I, a lot of people that are into Monster High are really into LPS too. So because we don't have a pen, we just won't write. Um, I guess they didn't leave a pen, did they? No. Mm -hmm. Let's read it though. Oh, 
October 15th was the last time someone was here. Last time it was logged anyway. Or true. Cool. Look how pretty this feather is. It's like such a nice green color. I know for a fact Cage won't let me take it home before I even ask. The kitties. But look how pretty. What kind of bird is it? Oh, a magpie? Oh, maybe. Magpies are so pretty. Look how gorgeous. I knew, I didn't even have to ask. So get flying flu. Off to the next. <gasps> it's not that icy. It's, no, it's okay. Look how pretty it is out here. Those are some pretty good, like, sitting in tree spots. All these trees, eh? That's true. Oh, look at those ducks. They're coming this way. Yeah. There's so many ducks. How is there so many ducks? What are they all doing here? Look at all their green heads. They're so cute. Mallards, right? Yeah. I believe so. Angel babies. So many of you. No, I think they're gossiping about us. They're dueling. Yeah. We are at location two. The terrain is very rocky. I'm very glad I didn't wear my big stompy boots. Cage was right. Would have been a mess. Eight meters? Okay. I have a feeling it's in this like Sicily area. With geocaches. Oh, there's like a little path. Okay, I have a feeling it's in here somewhere. Oh, slip inside. I have a feeling it's under this guy. I had a feeling about this guy. I don't know, east, west, whatever. Well, it would have to be a rock that's small enough to move, right? Anyway, this one took forever, but we found it. Oh, I hate sticking my hand in dark places. Okay. What's the loot? Oh, wow. Enjoy nature, nice. Oh, so many fun things. There's like a really weird troll, another Littlest Pet Shop. I have a feeling that a family that was into Littlest Pet Shop would, has been hitting these spots. I'd say this is right. really fun. It's <laughs> cute. Oh, bottle opener. Oh, this is the, oh, and they brought a pencil in this one. That's good. Ooh. Canada pin. Ooh, Norway. Do you want to take the Norway pin? Ooh, what's this sequin? That's pretty. Treasure. I love treasure. Okay, you get to pick what we take from this one. This is Canada flag pin. I have. I feel like everyone has one of those. Yeah. Okay, let's take the pencil. No, evil. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. This this guy is cool. The polar bear. The polar bear. The monkey's weird. Okay, and let's put a bone or a bat. I think we put a bat in the last one, so a bone. Enjoy your your trip with your new home. And Cage is gonna write a little message for us. Happy. Val. Val. <laughs> Valentine's Day. <laughs> You're cute. Um, <laughs> February, what, 14th? Good job. Oh. Hey. Away it goes. Enjoy your next finder. Look how cute, oh my god. Is this not the smallest birdhouse you've ever seen? It is so itty bitty, I'm obsessed with it. Can we see if there's like leaves in there? I mean, go ahead. <laughs> okay, on to the next guess. Oh, I'm at one bar of battery. Oh no. Shit, okay. We're in a really pretty tunnel. Just thought I'd show you while we're walking through. It's nice, I've never been here before. Look at the art. Oh, we're here. Switch to phone because my thing died, but look what Cage found. The next, the next one. Unofficial geocache. How do you do this? I don't know. I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared too. I'm scared. I think you might have to unlock that part. Like you can't open it. Maybe it's just, this is it. That's it. This is it. Crazy. 
Where is this freaking cash? It should be like right around here. Oh, I wonder if it's... Let's go see. What the hell? I checked up here and I didn't find it. <laughs> Why are you so good at finding them? Ugh. Okay. Oh! Oh, yummy. What are these? These look like Venus McFly trap boots. What the hell? <laughs> Hey, another horse! Another pony! That one's a ghost pony. You choose this time, so... I want the ghost pony. What about this? I don't know what that is. Is that a squishy? Ew. I love my brain. Oh my god, I was, thought it was gonna be an I love boobies flashback. Official geocache! Hell yeah. Alright. Collect a... A bone? Or a bat? A bat. A bat. This is very, like hard because it's not consistent. It's random paper. <laughs> well someone did find it today according to the um the thing. Okay. Goodbye bat. Have a great time. Yeah, right? Taking the pony. Oh I think I saw it. Oh really? Oh wait no that was something else. Oh. Okay we think this one is probably in the gazebo. It's a really pretty little spot. Look how cute. Um okay I have a feeling it's here. Okay. Mm. Mm. I was just so excited when I saw it. Ow! Ow! Oh, you okay? Oh, that is smart. Ooh. Why does it look like a blood test vial? Oh! Huh? That's interesting. Okay, I don't know. Okay. Okay, this one was insane. It was, oh my god, in this hole, in this thing. That's ridiculous. I can't believe we found it. We were looking forever. And this is finally the first one I found today. I was getting sad with Cage because I was like, I haven't found any today. And it was so upsetting, but. That's so funny, too, because I like lifted this up. Yeah, you did lift it up. But I didn't see it. Yeah, and there's the little note scroll. So we'll leave our little, our little names and. I'm back. Our geocaching date was so much fun. I really, really enjoyed our time out. Um, we got really hungry when we got home, so I'm going ahead and making some carbonara. It's one of our favorite things um, to make together, so just go into that, I guess. Carbonara, I'm so freaking excited. It's one of my favorite foods. This is the vegan version. I'll link the recipe below, but I'm obsessed with it. So freaking good. And we're just going to watch some TV and chill out. Hey guys, oh my god, I like fell asleep for like, I don't know, an hour, two hours, it was crazy. After we had dinner, I just was so tired. <sighs> life is life. Okay, I wanted to show you guys really quickly, um, Cage for Valentine's. He gave me these really, really beautiful sets of cards. Um, came with a sticker. Don't really know, but whatever. Okay, let's go through these cards. They're so pretty. I'll just go through each one um, with you guys. Okay, so this one with the clown, little vintage clown. It says, quit clowning around, be mine. Oh my God, precious. This one says, think of me, my dear one. It has like this really beautiful vintage style with like the rose and stuff. Tuna's here, hopefully. Oh, hi, hello, hi. You wanna be in the video? Okay, this one, also really, really love this one. It says, be my Valentine, but like, yeah, the black and white, completely black and white ones, I really, really like. I think there's another one like that. Um, I carry you in my heart with the kind of like angelic looking lady. Gorgeous. Hi, you wanna sit in my lap? Okay, we both love frogs as I mentioned earlier, but um, like vintagey frogs, like Jeremy Fisher types, obsessed with it. This one's so cute. It says, have I told you I love you? With this like cute little frog. I, I really maybe one may want like a goofy frog tattoo. I think that could be so cute. This one's lovely. It's like a little cherub says, looking for love till I found you. Mm -hmm. This is the other one I was talking about, the fully black and white one. Um, it just says love, um, and it has this lovely lady in a rose. I know! You're the bestest! You're the bestest! This one I love. When I saw this one, I like lost my mind. So cool. Has this like very goofy looking Grim Reaper. It says, please don't rip my heart apart. Be mine. Frick, so cute. Okay. This one also lovely. Super vintage, botanical kind of inspired. 
Thistle let you know I want you. Oh, yeah, this will let you know I want you with a thistle. Ha, ah, get it? Ha <laughs> ha. Funny. Took me a minute. I'd like to dance right into your heart. This little dancer couple. A token of true love. The beautiful lady with like the wings and the rose. You're invited to be my Valentine. The little angel with the top hat. That's really cute. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, this one reminds me of the copper tone sunscreen. Um, it says, you take a bite out of my heart. <laughs> oh, I love vintage swimsuits so much. I think they're so cute. Like the, the ones that are like the full little outfit. They're so stinking cute. Won't you be my Valentine with like this little vintage lady? Oh, precious. Maybe one day I'll get like a vintage lady tattoo. That would be very pretty. You are the queen of my heart. Look at that. This is such talent. Handmade print house. I don't know who the artist is. Where is your... Designed by Julian Bast. I will link their um, Instagram or whatever below. Um, this one's fun. It says, please stop dragging my heart around. Be my valentine. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so Cage got me like two packs. So this is like two packs worth of cards. In case you're curious. I have so much room in my heart for you. Little angel mushroom baby. Oh. Star of the show. Thank you. <laughs> this one, uh, where have you been all my life? The little wiener dog. I had such a thing for wiener. Like I thought they were the best dogs ever when I was like younger. Have love, will travel. This little guy. And the last one, I'll always choose you. Okay, so I need to find like a really nice spot for these. Tuna is causing a ruckus. Um, I'm not sure what else I'm gonna do with my night. I kind of want to work on some plushies. Maybe I will just work on some editing because I've been putting it off and I have so many videos just like that. I need to work on and I'm so bad for working on. I really hope this one doesn't take 12,000 years to get out, but I have a feeling it will. So I'm sorry if you're seeing this like a thousand years late. Anyway, this might be the end of the vlog for the night um, or for like this vlog. So if that's all. That's all. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and be nice to yourself. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.